Hi, I'm Kelly Ritchie. I want to show you my new pedal board. It's in two parts. One, this is my main pedal board. My goal for creating this pedal board was to get something small and compact that had every component on it that I needed, but that I could carry in one hand with my guitar case in the other. I've accomplished it. It took quite a bit of time, quite a bit of thought, so I'm going to show you what's on this board, the signal chain, and why I selected these pieces of gear. Now, if you'll notice, I have a Boss RC300 looper on the floor in front of my pedal board. This is free. It's not attached to the pedal board. If I'm doing a solo show and I want to be able to incorporate loops, I can set this in front of my pedal board. I've got a couple of pieces of um, two little styrofoam blocks here and here that I can use to prop up the front of my pedal board, slide this right up to it, so it feels like one pedal board, but it's in two parts, very lightweight, and this fits in a bag. This is a Gator pedal board with a soft shell case, really nice, um, protects it well. So, I have a couple of things mounted underneath this board, and the rest are on top. I have a Sennhauser Wireless located underneath the board. I have a pedal train power supply located in the center underneath the pedal board. And I have a Love Line Drive located right over here underneath my wah pedal. So I go into my wireless if I'm using a wireless. Right now I'm plugged straight in. So I can unplug this jack right here that goes to my wireless and plug a guitar cord right in. So right now I'm plugging my guitar cord right into my line drive. From there I go into my full tone uh, wah pedal. I love this pedal. Um, it's got a buffer built into it. It's a sweet sounding wah pedal. From here I go into my noise suppressor and it's an NS2 by Boss. And so my, my signal goes from my wah pedal to my noise suppressor to the volume. This noise suppressor has a built-in effects loop that my two tube screamers are running through. When I turn it off, you may be able to hear the hum from these two tube screamers. When I turn it on, that hum totally goes away. And it keeps from, I, I don't like to put uh, an entire signal chain through a noise gate. I just, I don't like that. I think it sucks the sound out of, out of my guitar tone. So this enables me to just put it on two pedals. I love this pedal. I love it. So, full tone to this noise suppressor with my two tube screamers. I keep both tube screamers on 99% of the time. Both of them are set at unity with the tone set about 10 a.m. The first tube screamer is set straight up at noon. The second tube screamer is set at 3 o'clock. If I want to clean my sound up a little bit, I turn my second one off, bring it back in for a screaming lead. If I turn the volume down on my guitar, then I don't hit these two pedals with as much signal and it cleans up my sound nicely. So I like to use two tube screamers because I go into two fairly low watt amps. I have two uh, Fender Princeton reverbs here. Those are about 12 watts each. And I have them both set on two. If I do a solo show or a rehearsal or a small gig, I might set them on three or four. Uh, typically with the band, I use two deluxe reverbs and I run both of those on two. Okay, now, my wah to my two tube screamers to my volume pedal. I love this Dunlop volume pedal. Nice and smooth. It's got a tuner out. Um, great pedal. Uh, from my volume, I go into my Eventide H9. This unit here comes with the best of all of their four pedals. The delay unit, uh, which is the time factor. The pitch factor, which is their harmonizer the mod factor, which is different modulations, flangers, choruses, and such, and their reverb, which is their space. So it has a, a sample of each of these, some of their most popular uh, algorithms. You can buy, through the App Store, their entire catalog of sounds. There's a Bluetooth unit, you can use an iPad, or I use my iPhone 
to uh, purchase some extra sounds and load onto here. I've got uh, two sounds set up right now that I'm using. One is a and then one is a harmonizer with a fifth blow. So those are my two main harmonies, uh, an octave and a fifth below that I use. And this is brand new. I'm going to be putting some other sounds in here. I've got it set right now to where it just uh, goes between those two different sounds. I can turn them on. And this also doubles as a tuner. If I hold both of these down, I've got a tuner. Really nice. Saves real estate again on my board. From here, I go into my flashback, my triple flashback delay. This is by TCL Electronics. This is three delay units in one. And like most pedals, you can only use one at a time. And like the flashback, you could only use one at a time. I originally had that and uh, upgraded to this. Here you can use all three delays at the same time. Stereo in, stereo out, uh, a bunch of different parameters for subdivide subdividing notes, uh, great, great pedal. And from here I go into this uh, DD20. It's a Boss Digital Delay and I set this um, for a ping pong effect, uh, which I could do this, but I'll, I'll explain to you why I haven't set it. Before. That's just a pleasure. I just, I just, I, I like it. I just think it sounds marvelous. And so I use two low watt amps um, and run in stereo. Nice big fat sound. I just, I love the setup. This delay here. Right now I have the first delay on just kind of my stock delay that I've always used. It's set about 440 milliseconds. Blat 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 blat. And then it's gone. The middle one I have set to a slap back. Now I still have this set for um, a ping pong. But I got this back in the chain because I just, I like one being dedicated for just ping pong. This delay here is sweet sounding. Uh, a lot of nice, nice uh, warm sounds. You can save all of these presets, tap delay. You can run these in series or in parallel. Um, I'm, I just had this for a few weeks, so I'm just really getting into it. I have the the sounds that I like, I've got those set up, um, but I want to experiment with it and find some really cool stuff. There's an expression pedal I could pull in if I wanted. So that's my new pedal board. And um, again, I can carry it in one hand and my guitar case in the other. And uh, wow, what a change because the big monster rig that I had, it had gotten so heavy, um, it, it took two of us. <laughs> to move. So the guys in the band are really happy to see this. Uh, so that's really cool. I added this um, Boss RC 300 and I went through every looper that there is. A lot of them have a lot of cool features. This honestly has everything. I've only had it for about a week. I had the RC 50. Uh, it takes up a lot of real estate and so I opted to get rid of it because it was so big. But um, I need something that will do MIDI, that will sync up. I just got um, the machine studio, so I'm starting to get into a lot of programming, making a lot of loops, having a lot of fun with that. It'll integrate nicely with this. Uh, again, I'm building my sound library. So this has three independent delay, uh, I'm sorry, loops, totally independent. You can run these uh, to sync up. You can run them to where when I turn this off and kick the next one on, it goes to the next track and doesn't go with the two tracks. So say I'm doing a verse, chorus, back to my verse, I can do that. 
or I can layer it to where I have this track going and then I turn this on in addition to that, turn this on in addition to that. You can control the individual volume of each track. You can program that and save it. Uh, there's a, some really nice rhythms already stock in here. Um, so, like here's one rhythm that I've got. You can run the rhythm tracks to a PA and then I have my guitar set to get to my amps. So here's a free recorded loop that I got. Again, I'm just scratching the surface on this. Um, I'm really excited about what all it will do. You can plug a microphone into it, so you could have, you know, looping on just uh, one channel or, or multiple channels with your voice. Um, and again, the mixing in this, you can send these out. You've got auxiliary out, uh, left and right output for a main output, left and right output for a sub, uh, MIDI in, out, and through. It's very powerful, and it's got USB hookup, so you can hook it up to your computer and back everything up and pull in sounds. Um, so, that's the new pedal board. Those of you that uh, may be interested in the amps that I use or the settings that I have on those, uh, my two Princetons, I have one that is uh, truly a 67, and I have, it's, I'm sorry, it's a 67 or 68, uh, and then I have the 60... Eight reissue, I believe it is, that I just got. Um, I really, really love these amps. Again, they're about 12 watts. I have the reverb on very little. I just like a little bit of presence of reverb. Um, because these have 10-inch speakers, I can only put my run my bass at about 8 on these two amps, and I run my treble about 7. Uh, that's the sweet spot, I think, on these two amps. And both of these are turned on to two at the level down here. Um, on stage, when I use two deluxes, Fender Deluxe Reverbs, I run my bass all the way open. I put my treble on five, and I run both volumes on two. With just uh, And I set my reverb on about two o'clock on both of those. So that's my setup. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, hit me with an email comments. Uh, I'll be glad to respond. I'm a gearhead. Love showing you all this.